Hello everyone. In today's question of the day, we'll be dealing with pipes and cisterns. The question is a steady stream flows into a cistern partly full, which has a number of equal sized holes at the bottom. If 12 holes are opened, the cistern is emptied in four hours. And if 10 holes are opened, the cistern is emptied in eight hours. How many holes should be opened so as to empty the cistern in two hours? So this clearly means that some water is going into the cistern and some is coming out of the cistern through these holes at the bottom. Now the water that is going into the cistern, it will be counted as positive work. The water that is leaving the cistern, it will be counted as negative work. Now we have no idea about the volume of the cistern. So let it be V. After that, I have to keep in mind the rate at which the water is flowing into the cistern and the rate at which the water is flowing out of the cistern. So let me assume that rate of inflow inflow by whatever stream is coming into it. It is giving us a liters per hour or units per hour. So I'll just mention a units per hour. Similarly, we have some holes due to which we have an outflow. Let me assume that every hole it is taking out B units per hour. So inflow is always counted as positive work. This is always counted as negative work outflow. Now when the cistern is being emptied, the water coming into the cistern and leaving the cistern, it should be same. So this V is the volume of liquid that was already present in the cistern because you are given that cistern is partly full. So V was already there. Then if 12 holes are opened, the cistern is emptied in four hours. That means the inflow would be working for four hours. So in four hours, the inflow, how much volume will it give to the cistern? It will give 4A. So this volume V plus 4A, this is being emptied in four hours by how many holes? 12 holes. So 12 holes are working. They are working for four hours each and the outflow of every hole is B units per hour. So I'll multiply it by B. So I'll be getting V plus 4A equal to 48 B. This will be the first equation when 12 holes are open. Similarly, we'll be forming the equation when 10 holes are open. So V was already present. I'm taking the second case. Now the cistern is emptied in eight hours. So this inflow would be working for eight hours. So V plus eight A will be the volume of the cistern that is coming into it. And this is being emptied. So 10 holes all are working for how many hours, eight hours and rate of outflow of every hole is B units per hour. So this will be the second equation that will have. So ATB, this is the second equation. So now I have these two equations. I have three variables involved V, A, B. So let us see if we can solve them. We can only solve them if we divide equation one by two. So V plus four A upon V plus eight A, this would be equal to 48 upon 80. Now this can be written as six by 10 or three by five. So if you further solve this, we'll be getting two V equal to four A, which will give me V equals to two A. So now I have a relation between V and A. As soon as I get this relation, I can find out a relation between A and B. Let me put V equal to two A over here. So I'll be getting six A equal to 48 B. I can say eight A is equal to eight B. I hope this is clear. Now we need to find out how many holes should be opened so as to empty the cistern in two hours. So now the inflow pipe, it is working for two hours. So V was already present for two hours. There'll be an inflow. So that volume added will be plus two A. Now we need to find out the number of holes that are at the bottom. So let us assume that there are X holes. The outflow of every hole is B. So X into B, this should be equal to two hours because this is being done in two hours. So let me put all the values in terms of A. V will be equal to two A. So in numerator, we'll be getting two A plus two A that gives us four A upon X. We need to find out that is the number of holes. B is equal to A by eight. So A, eight will be multiplied above. This would give us two A, A cancels. We'll be getting X equal to 32 by two. That means 16. So there should be 16 holes at the bottom if we want to empty the tank in two hours, the cistern in two hours. So I hope that is clear. If there is any doubt, please ask again. Thank you.